I got so excited I opened this up already and had a little play with it. You can see the antenna sticking out over here. Let's take a look. This is the TID Radio H8. It's a ham radio and it's also available in GMRS flavors. So we have the radio oh, with the antenna already attached. It's it's not a very rigid antenna and I kind of like that because it's not going to get in the way too much. It has a regular wall wart for charging, 0.5 amps output and 12 volts. So you can actually hook this right into your benchtop power supply if you want. That's a fantastic feature. So I don't actually need the wall wart. Belt clip and a charging station and a lanyard and that's all the fun that we have going on there. This will go in like so. Oh, missed, missed, got it. One of the easier ones to get a radio into, surprisingly enough. Usually these are pretty much a pain in the butt and you've gotta be very specific about how you line it up. This works out pretty well. Nice little stand. All right, let's get the lanyard connected. I like lanyards. Some of you don't. I do. Maybe that's why some people don't like lanyards. They're kind of a pain to put on. Get out my iFixit toolkit to get my belt clip screwed on. Number one Phillips. So the belt clip does not interfere with the changing of the battery. All set. Speaking of batteries, it is 7.4 volts, 3,000 milliamp hours, or just, you know, three amp hours for those of us that aren't trying to inflate ourselves. Let's put that back on. FCC ID 2AWL3-TDH8, if you guys want to take a look at that. What makes this flashlight better than any other ham radio? I mean, what makes this ham radio better than any other flashlight? I mean, what makes this ham radio handheld better than any other ham radio handheld? Let's turn it on and take a look. Oh, a color screen. There we go. So we've got channel, yeah. mode. channel mode. Channel mode. Frequency mode. Or frequency mode. That seems familiar. Oh, Bluetooth. It's got Bluetooth. So we might be able to program this directly from the TID radio programmer with the Bluetooth turned on. You might be able to listen to it over Bluetooth as well. Change from A and B VFOs. Menu. Menus look familiar. Menus look very familiar. Oh, got to turn that Roger beep on. Confirm. Menus look very familiar. Keypad's pretty easy to use. What do we got in the box? What do we what do we got in the radio? What is this? This is a 10 watt high output radio. We'll do a power test here in a bit. You can do GMRS with a firmware upgrade or ham radio with a firmware upgrade. It depends on which way you want to go by one or the other. Color LCD screen, IP65 waterproof. It works on 136 to 174 and 400 to 520. Power selection from 0 0.5, 5, and 10, 199 channels, dual watch. Welcome. Welcome. How polite. We are on 146.52. Let's see what we have our power Radio. set to. Transmit power high. Let's see if anybody's around. KM9G on 146.52. KM9G on 146.52. Anybody out there? Nothing at all. <laughs> I am not shocked. 146.52 is pretty dead in my area. What kind of antenna connection does this have? Other than very strong. Okay, so it is SMA, male and female. And then this is a little bit recessed. And you can feel the knurling on this contact the outside of the ring as you're screwing it in place. So it will wind up holding itself in place. Okay, let's get out my favorite power tester, the Surecom SW102. And let's put on our ground plane for reference. All right, the adapter marathon has started. Can we get there with this equipment? Can we get there from here? All right, we have radio on. We have the power meter on. We are on the 70 centimeter call frequency. Let's Menu. check our power setting here. Power mid, let's go to power high real quick. Confirm. Okay, so this is high power on 70 centimeters. 10.8 watts out, 2.3 SWR on the antenna, and I touched it and it went to nine. Menu. Confirm. 
70 centimeter mid power, 4.72 watts out, 2 to 1 SWR. Menu. Confirm. Low power, 0 0.1 watts out, 1.2. 1.4 SWR. Very low power, 0 0.1 watts out. All right, let's go to a different frequency. One, two, three. All right, we're on the two meter call. Let's change Thank our you. power. Confirm. High power, two meter high power, 7.9 watts out, two to one SWR. So the same SWR on two meter high power. Menu. Confirm. Two meter mid power, 4.7 watts out. Two meter low power, and that's 0.93 watts out with a better SWR, 1.8. There you go, there's your power on two bands, three power level settings. The TID Radio TDH8, not a bad little radio. I like the build quality, stronger than a Balfang, but still has the same Balfang guts and has an upgraded color screen. It's uh, pretty neat, it's got the, uh, the orange button on the side. How sexy is that? It's a little ridge going around the top. I'm not sure why that's there. I guess it'll stop it from dropping too far into your pocket. I don't know. There is a link in the description down below. Bluetooth programming built in, dual channel mode. Fairly durable construction, fairly decent antenna, 10 watts power output. What's not to like? Stay tuned to the channel for more updates on this radio. I'm gonna do some more testing on this and see what else we can find out. There's a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.